Hi, welcome to my garden. My name is Patty Spezzaferro and I'm a master gardener from San Mateo County and San Francisco County. I'm here to talk to you about rose pruning. We're going to talk about why we prune, the tools, and we're going to have a demonstration on the techniques. Tips on what to wear when pruning roses. First of all, we're going to start with a hat. We're going to protect not only from the sun, but from those nasty thorn canes that come come at you as you prune. Secondly, gloves. Leather gloves coming up to the elbow on both sides. Thirdly, goggles or glasses to protect you just in case a branch should wish to hit you. And fourth, a long sleeve jacket that's not penetrable to those nasty thorns. Now we're going to talk about pruning tools. I like to use the pruning shears, the saw, and the lopper. We're going to talk about sharpening and cleaning our pruning shears. Firstly, you'll notice that the blade has a flat side and an angled side. We're only concerned with the angled side. That's the one you want to sharpen. You're going to get one of these um, sharpening stones and you're going to sharpen towards you in one 45 degree angle uh, stroke towards you just like that. Once you finish that we are going to clean our blade with an anti-septic um, wipe, antibacterial, and we're just going to wipe it up down. The reason we do this is to not transfer any disease from one rose cane to another rose cane uh, because roses do have a lot of disease and we want to make sure that we are protecting our roses. You can also use a spray, very simply like that, and you just clean it off. Wonderful. Now, our ro now, our, now we're ready to prune. Hi, now we're going to talk about the pruning techniques and why we prune. We prune for a number of reasons. No the number one reason is for the health of the tree. We want to make sure that we're, we're discarding any dead, diseased, or damaged canes. The number, second reason why we, we prune is for the beauty. The more, the more we prune, and we prune down to about a third to a half of the plant, is because we want to maximize the blooms. And the more blooms we have, the more beautiful your rose bush is going to look. The third reason, and, the, and another most important reason, is because we, um, is for to prevent disease and um, we want to increase the air circulation in the center of our plant. We're lucky today to have Oliver Silva, a fellow master gardener, who's going to be do helping me with the demonstration. We're pruning right now in January. We can prune from January to mid-February when we're pruning roses, and Oliver is here is gonna help us reduce this bush to a third to half a size. He's going to start by removing any dead, diseased, or um, uh, canes. He's also now, uh, what he's doing right now, he's, he is eliminating any canes that are less than a pencil size. He's disposing of the debris in a um, container. As you can see, he's moving quite quickly. He's looking now for crossing branches. We don't want our, our canes to rub against each other because that will promote disease. We need that good air circulation. Oliver has done an excellent job of pruning this rose down to a third of, the, of its size. As you can see, he's eliminated the dead, the, the diseased, and the decayed canes. He's also eliminated the pencil size canes. And finally, he also has um, eliminated, created a, uh, an opening in the center. Now we're going to talk about the buds and how we, how we orchestrate the buds to go in the direction that we want it to go. We're going to use our pruners. We're going to locate the bud. The bud, here is one bud. It's, and we're going to look for the out-facing bud. We're going to go at an angle of 45 degrees a quarter of an inch above the bud. Nice sharp cut. And there you go. There's our bud, bud cut. 
Oliver, I had so much fun pruning today, didn't you? Yes. We learned so much what, when to prune, how to prune, what to wear, how to prepare our tools, and... and pruning techniques. Oliver, can you stay and we can prune the rest of the garden today? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad.